guys uh, and gals. I'm going to have a go at um, putting Red Control in my Grillo's Spitfire. If you remember, I made the wing band on instead of glued on, which is good because it means now that I can get into the guts of the aeroplane and work out where I'm going to put servos and receiver etc obviously the nose comes off so I can mount a motor up there as well so I've made a little bit of progress on the radio install servos are sitting there push rods uh, 2 mil 2 mil 1.8 2 mil millimeter carbon rods uh, with uh, just the little Z bends and a heat shrink to hold them all together when I'm finally finished adjusting it, I'll put a little bit of CA in there just to make sure nothing moves on the back end. I've just cut a couple of big slots out to take them straight through to the control horns. I'll tissue them up now and uh, just paint them a little bit so the slots are a bit smaller. On this model, when it was free flight, I had the control surfaces were hinged. Uh, but one of the hinges was a very fine copper strip so as it would stay in place so all I've done really is to break break the copper and the control surfaces are hinged so that makes it nice and easy I'm going to do this one by the elevator seeing as how the control surface is already um, hinged uh, it doesn't have ailerons but I'm hoping rudder will be enough to turn it there you go again similar to the other end just a little on this end just a little hook to clip in and heat shrink to hold it all together so the servos work quite nicely um, the front end I've, I've taken out the top whereas I kind of did a rough uh, C or G calculation and as far as I can tell I need a uh, nose weight so I thought I'll just pop the battery in the front like this I'll make a new hatch to go on there uh, there's a couple of repairs I've done to the stringers that got manhandled and broke. So that will just tissue over. I'm quite pleased with the motor installation. The cowling is held on by two magnets. Quite strong magnets. Uh, there we go. There's two magnets, top and bottom. A bit crude, but effective. And I've got a little... The motor is... 2900 kV and it just sits on a sorry you can see that then. and it just sits on this little motor mount which takes up to the right distance for the uh, spinner of the motor to stick out the front so nice and simple nothing complicated about it really crude magnet banged on the top and the bottom in the right place and then the cowling will just clip on there really solid clip actually as you heard so that's pretty good progress I've got a little um, 12 amp speed controller a tiny one and very lightweight AR6100E Spectrum receiver. So the speed controller, well, it'll go in. I've got two compartments here, there and there, underneath. Plenty of space to pop those in. And the propeller is the one that I had on my Newport 11. Should go on like that. So it's coming along nicely. A few little repairs to do, but next part of the job is the tissuing and building a hatch and if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button down below uh, it helps the analytics of the channel and you'll be around to see the maiden of the no, remaiden remaiden maiden so i thought i'd just have a quick go the tissuing the tissue the tissue to take that cowl off it's going to be i'm still undecided about the undercarriage so whether I'm going to cut it off or leave it on with the extra weight of the model it's going to bend probably quite easily um, upon landing so should I preempt any damage 
and take it off. I don't know. Okay, that's a bit better line. Top hatch to go. Now I even make this out of a little bit of solid or a little bit of bent balsa over a couple of formers or I'm not sure how I'm going to attach it anyway. Give it some thought, come back to you soon. Okay guys, pretty good progress. I've made the hatch. Uh little magnet just clips down. I'll show you. Just a couple of little couple of little hooks in the front and then magnet holds it back back on the back. So happy with that. Okay, okay. I've made the hatch and now I'm just gonna paint it in a little bit because it's should be part green and it doesn't have to be anything special just follow the markings that were there already something like that something like that that'll blend in um, Start on the inside now, start up there. I've got too much paint on there. Probably ain't got enough now. Nice and white. Okay, happy with that. There you go, how's that look? See? <laughs> That'll do. It's a little bit fat around the side there, but it looks better for being there than not being there. I think uh, let's just give that a C or G test. I know where it should balance. Being a low wing, I turn it upside down for this. Oh, that's good. Moving the uh, ESC all the way to the front. And it's balancing quite well. I'd say it was absolutely bang on. So let's sit it on its wheels and admire it. We all got to do that. It's ready, ready to go. Okay then, guys. I think I've got a low battery warning sign, but uh, we can give it a little run up. good and elevator I'll have to I'll have to uh, put some expo in there I think and that needs reversing I'll do that now otherwise she's good to go uh, let's give it away okay here we go this is all up ready to go with the battery 209 grams or 7.35 ounces there we go then guys she's all ready to go hit the like button hit the subscribe button most importantly just below if you want to see the maiden flight and uh, we'll see if she goes as good as i hope fingers crossed thanks for watching bye